The French painter Edgar Degas once said, art is not what you see, but what you make others see. James Dietz, who began his career after graduating from college in 1969, works to combine historical fact with the action and adventure of fiction. I have been a commercial illustrator for many years and did a number of book covers and movies, uh, the sort of work that um, was more action oriented, so cowboys and, and battleships. And eventually when units started asking for people who could do historical scenes, I was one of the artists that was asked for often enough that I got a good reputation in doing them uh, and doing those that the soldiers wanted to see and then wanted to buy prints from. The 4th Infantry Brigade Combat Team, returning from a nine month deployment to Afghanistan, got the chance to see their hard work and dedication memorialized on canvas at a ceremony at Normandy Chapel. Mr. Dietz explains why these paintings are important. My feeling is the paintings are important for today at a release like this, for you. And maybe in the future they will in some way both be a benefit to myself for having worked on them, but more for, say, your kids or your grandkids when they ask you what you did and a painting might be a starting point. Members of Dragon Brigade were able to purchase these pieces of history and even had them personalized by the artist himself. His talent is obvious, but he remains humble and proud. I'm not sure I have a gift. I work hard. Uh, in terms of documenting history, somebody once said that I, that I was lucky to leave a legacy of paintings behind about history itself. And eventually there'll be maybe 150 different paintings of not just Iraq and Afghanistan, but of World War II and Korea, all of which I'm pretty proud of. Reporting for the 4th Infantry Brigade Combat Team, I'm Sergeant Luther Washington.